Six foot five? Oh, what's up? What's up? You guys ready to do this today? Let's go. Teachers, looking good. Nice tie combo on you, Mr. Porter. Looks good. Welcome to the show, everyone. Today, it's the students looking ready to go over here versus their teachers who taught them everything they know from Clearview Regional High School in Gloucester County, New Jersey. And they are officially in the classroom where today, students and teachers are both getting graded by me. Jersey, I'm afraid to say this because I know you guys have been crazy all day, but what's up out there? <laughs> They've been rocking and rolling. It's $500 on the line. Bragging rights for the winner. Let's play a little pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. We're warmed up. I'm feeling it. Let's play, everybody. In December 1941, what country launched a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor? First one in, Jimmy. Japan. Japan's right. The kidneys are part of what main system of the human body? Urinary. Miss, Miss McGain. Urinary system. Urinary system. There he is. How about everyone meet Mr. Rosa? He's very excited <laughs> to be here. Tracy Morgan and Tiffany Haddish star in what show about an ex-con who is shocked to see how much the world has changed when he returns to his Brooklyn neighborhood? The OG. Be more specific. The original gangster. <laughs> Teachers for the steal. The last OG was what we were looking for. Very close. The holy cities of Mecca and Medina can be found in what country? Jimmy. Jerusalem. Mr. Porter. Israel. Saudi Arabia is one right answer there. In the NBA, the Hawks represent what city? Jimmy. Atlanta. Atlanta's right back on track. On Wednesdays, the plastics wear what color in the movie Mean Girls? Sophia? Pink. Pink is right. You said it was excitement, too. In geometry, how many dimensions does a point have? Mr. Rosa. One. Ro Roca? Two. Zero and no size, only position there, guys. What Ernest Hemingway Pulitzer-winning novel tells the story of Santiago, an aging Cuban fisherman who attempts to bring home a giant marlin? Mr. Porter. The old man in the sea. The old man in the sea. How about this one? Worth double points. What pop singer refers to his fans as little monsters? Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is right. The terms avophobia and aerophobia both refer to fear of what, Mr. Rosa? Birds. I I could listen to you all day. <laughs> <laughs> Students for the steal. Sophia? Fish. Close. Flying. But we were in the realm. We were in the realm of stuff. That's it for Pop Quiz. How about it? Both sides are rocking. Now look, the score is students 50, teachers 20, but I have to tell you this right now. We're into season two at this point. I've never met someone more excited to be here than my man, Mr. Rosa, right here. I'll tell you, he's rock and roll. We're glad to have him. Today, they're from Cleveview Regional High School in Mullican Hill, New Jersey, home of the Pioneers. Where do you meet these teams? Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm a junior. I've had all three of these teachers, so I know we're going to win. Hi, my name is Roka Adejari. I'm a senior, and I'm president of three clubs. Shout out to MHAC, MUN, and GSA. Hi, my name's Jimmy. I'm a senior. I just want to say hi, Mama. Hi, my name is Mr. Rosa. I've been these guys' teacher since middle school, and I was Preston and Steve's coolest teacher in 2019. Hi, I'm Miss McGann. I teach science, so I'm hoping that there's a lot of science questions today. Hi, I'm Mr. Porter. I teach English, and the last time I was on local TV was 1982. <laughs> All right, we know him. I told you Rosa was the man. They just said as we went to that, they're like, this is the Rosa that you get all the time. We're glad you guys are here to witness this. Big day today. We're going to detention right now. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. To start the trailing team so teachers get ready we're gonna give you this first category how do you guys feel as we kick it off with musicals pass or play 
What do you think? I could do it. Okay. I trust you. We're going to play. We're going to play. play, and apparently just Mr. Porter wanted this one. So uh, basically this question just goes to you, Mr. P. What stage musical is about a beautiful opera singer, Christine, who becomes the obsession of a mysterious disfigured man living beneath the Paris Opera House? I would sing it, but I don't want to wreck the show. Fan of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera is right. There you go. I sang it for you. Okay, how about it? We have Sophia, we have Ronka, we have Jimmy, three great kids. Send one of them to detention. Jimmy, thank you. Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy? Sorry. Jimmy, yeah. there he goes. <laughs> Take a seat, son. I hate to see a guy get out of the game so early. I, I'm telling you, you told me early before the show started, he spent 35 minutes trimming up that beard of his. <laughs> and it looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, you're out, pal. So you sit right there and think about how good that looks. But we go to category over to you guys, literature. Yes, the reporter's going to guess. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to play. We're going to play. Here you go. <laughs> what try. Ray Bradbury novel takes place in a futuristic city where books are illegal and firemen burn any that are found. Okay. Fahrenheit 451? Yeah! Both of you are excited to answer it. Yeah. Like, no, we don't! We're reading the question. We're ready to answer. All right, here's... This is cool. A little switch for you guys. You get to send one of your teachers to detention. Who's it gonna be? Mr. Porter. <laughs> Mr. P! Looking good today, though. I'm telling you. That tie-shirt combo out of you is fantastic. All right, here we go. We go back to our teachers, where we learn that your category is animals. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, oh, we're going to play. We're going to play yeah. animals. Oh, here yeah. we go. We got it. The spotted species of what mammal is known for a call sounding like a laugh? Hyena. Hyena? Hyena's oh. right. There you go. <laughs> and now we move to Sophia Aronka. Who's going to detention? Sophia. Sophia, our team oh, captain, leaving our 12th grade <laughs> senior by herself to hold it down. Now listen, the category goes back to you, so that's excellent. Yeah. All right? Oh. How do you feel about television? Ooh, pretty good. Let's play. All right. <laughs> what is the name of the coffee shop where the Friends characters hang out? I never watched Friends. <laughs> what if I told you it was on Netflix? Then would you get it? Uh, like that Friends is on Netflix? Is it coffee house? Doesn't sound like you know this. <laughs> no, I don't. Central Perk is the answer. I hate no. to do this to you, Roka. You're going to detention. Mr. Oh. P, you are out of there. Teachers win the round. Big time scores. Teachers take the lead by 10. 60 points for you. 50 for the students. They're in detention. And we're going to art class when we come back. teachers from Clearview Regional High School in Gloucester County. Show them the move with the thing, with the show. You, you did the thing with the thing? What's yeah, the, the palm with the, ah, there it is, with the thing, with the thing. I'm telling you, these are the best palm workers I have ever seen. The scores are rocking, this game is rocking. You guys ready for a little art class? Heck yeah. Let's go! Things. It's awesome. Hey, here's how this game will work. Each team selected one player to draw on this board right here. The trailing team's gonna go first, so students, you're down by 10 right now. Mm -hmm. You're up here first, though. You're gonna select a card with a word or a phrase hidden on the inside, red or blue. You're gonna have five seconds to draw, then your teammates are gonna have 10 seconds to come up with one guess. You get it correct on the first try, 30 points. If you don't, I'll give you two more tries, but we'll descend in points on each try we go there. So I gotta always say, are you a red or a blue? Red. All right. oh, no, not red. Blue. Blue's you're, my favorite color. You're blowing it big time yeah, up here. I know. All right, she's, she's gonna take blue. She's gonna stand back here. I'm gonna uncap a pen for you while you look at the word. Okay? Okay. Do you feel confident with that? Yeah. I think yeah, you got I'm, this. I'm pretty good. Okay. okay. Five seconds on the clock. Draw super quick. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get this, but I want you to try. Ten seconds. One guess. Yeah, yeah. A sock? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
for our teachers, 80 points for our students. Before we go to break, we got more points in the line. Who wants some extra credit? Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answers. Correct answer, 10 points. Here it is. What is the acronym for the Military Counterterrorism and Intelligence Agency in the Marvel Universe, not Marvel, Marvel Universe, that includes Captain America and Iron Man in its ranks? Do you know the answer? I know the answer, and I'm going to give it to you when we come back. I am telling you, that was awesome. Juggle, girl, you crushed it. So good. Rocket, awesome. For a game. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have the students and teachers from Clearview Regional High School in Gloucester County. Before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. What is the acronym for the Military Counterterrorism and Intelligence Agency in the Marvel Universe that includes Captain America and my man Iron Man in its ranks? Students, we're going to start with you guys. Sophia, you're holding the board. It matches your shirt. That's kind of cool. What did you say? We said shield. Shield will get you 10 points. Nicely done. And teachers, Mr. Rosa, you could use the right answer here out of you. Um, we are, we got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay, back to back. All right, students, a lot of money on the line today. Yeah. 500 bucks, that's mm -hmm. a lot, right? Yeah. What would we do with it if we want it? We're going to put it towards Hoagies for Hope, which is a fundraiser in our school that raises money for medical bills for people in need in our community. And you guys just sell Hoagies? Yeah, and All we right. sell sponsorships, too. Nice, sponsorships. awesome. Well, how many Hoagies do you want to sell this year? Do you have a number? Um, we want to make over $20,000. Wow, have you yeah. done this in the past? Yeah, we normally make over 20000 so we can give four families $5,000. All right, well, count me in for a double order of Hoagies. Okay. I'm putting the first one down today. I love that money. Good job, guys. And 500 for teachers. Good luck beating that. That was an awesome yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the teachers, we're looking to add a uh, water fountain uh, upstairs for, uh, <laughs> for uh, filling up water bottles. <laughs> Now listen, is it one of those, it's saved on plastic? Yes, yes. So basically you're Mr. Earth. Right, we're very environmentally conscious yeah. and uh, we want clean drinking water for our kids. That makes a huge difference though, because you can put yeah. your thing right under, it's like a faucet. I'm telling you, yeah. both sides, great job, right. $500. I'll tell you what guys, let's all hop on the bus. You guys like field trips? We're going on one. Grab your buzzers. Today we're taking a field trip to the Wells Fargo Center. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. Your whole side will be locked out, but the other side's going to have a chance to buzz in and steal. How about this one, guys? What an honor to have her on the show. Jen Frederick from Fox 29's Good Day Philly is asking the questions today. She's driving the bus. So, Jen, we're on the bus. Our belts are buckled. These buses have belts for some reason. We're ready to go. Everybody, it's a field trip, and you know I love a field trip, especially here to the Wells Fargo Center, home of your Philadelphia Flyers. First question, why is my face so orange? Gritty, Gritty, put some stuff in my face. Okay, that's not your real first question. Here you go. The Philadelphia Flyers played their first game of the 2019-2020 season in Prague, the capital of what European country? First one in, Jimmy. Czech Republic. Czech Republic is right, gets you to 100 points. Tie game. Jen, your face looks good. I barely saw that it was orange at all, but I'll tell you what, you're doing a great job. The ice rink looks cold, so let's get to question two. 
Seth, you know this. We've had some great games right here at the Wells Fargo Center. But in February 2019, the Philadelphia Flyers played what team at Lincoln Financial Field as part of the NHL's Stadium Series? Jimmy. Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Let me be the first to say boo. No way Crosby can get on this show unless he just got on. Jimmy, you're with me on this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. no penguins, right? <laughs> Flyers all the way. All right, Jen, Fred, you've been crushing it. You look good. You got the orange glow. How about question three? In 2018, the Flyers mascot, Gritty, nominated himself for what magazine's Person of the Year? Mr. Rosa. Time Magazine. Time Magazine is right. Ties the game on the last question. Of the field trip, I got to give a big thanks to Jen Frederick for getting gritty on the show. My life is complete. All right, the scores, guys. Teachers, 110 on the last question. Students, 110. That is a tie game. The only way we're going to solve this is by going to the final exam. All right, the topic of today's final exam is... Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. This means all of the questions have something to do with the human body. See how it says our science teacher is like, finally, the Rosinator will prevail. <laughs> I'm going to ask these teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is 100 points on their score. You're going to work together and write down your answers during the commercial break. But first, here are your questions, guys. Good luck. What is the name of the thin wall between the human nasal passages that can be deviated? There's one. Here's two. What is the name of the long upper arm bone that runs from the shoulder to the elbow? Question three. Here we go. In the book, The Fault in Our Stars, what is the first name of the character who had their leg amputated because of cancer? Look, usually I can get a feel of how these teams are feeling. They all just shook their head, yes, I know that, after each question. What, will they or are they trying to psych out the other side when we come back? Someone will be crowned king and queen of the classroom. These guys are rocking today. How about you call me? You can be rocking tomorrow. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Regional High School, and you think we got a game on our hands? Teachers, 110 points. Students, you guessed it, 110 points. It's anybody's game. Now, you guys went to commercial. These guys talk trash. For the last two minutes, it's been going back and forth. Sophia, what's been going on at school? Oh, I have Mr. Porter and then Miss McGee right after. Just trash talking one after another. Okay, so we have final exam now. Rose has been doing a lot of yapping. Do you think <laughs> do you think if you win this thing, you go back to school? Do you give them a hard time or do you win with uh with a prestige, if you will. No, hard time till I graduate. Wow. Yeah. Roka, you feel the same yeah. way? Even past graduation, I'm gonna come back and just say, hey, remember when we beat you? <laughs> All of a sudden, these guys are like, I really hope I win this thing. <laughs> All right, well, let's find out if they make it or not. The topic of today's final exam is head and shoulders, knees and toes. Before we to break, I asked both teams three questions. Each correct answer you guys get in this round is gonna be worth 100 points. Let's ace this thing, guys, or fail it. It's up to you. Here we go, question one. What is the name of the thin wall between the human nasal passages that can be deviated? We're going to start with our teachers. Septum. Septum, or the septa is correct. They strike first. Jimmy, it's all about keeping pace at this point. What did you say? We also said septum. That's going to get you there. Deadlocked at 210 with two questions to go. What is the name of the long upper arm bone that runs from the shoulder to the elbow? It's a little bit tougher of a question. Teachers, we're going to ask you, Miss McGee. Humorous. Humorous is right. Gets you to 310. Roka, can you keep pace? You said? Humorous. Humorous, a little bit different spelling, but we got there. That's right. Okay. And how about one question separates a winner from a loser. 
right here. Mr. Rose, you're looking good over there. Feel a comment, double thumbs up. Against <laughs> Sophia, we're calling his arch nemesis. <laughs> here we go, guys. This is the question. In the book, The Fault in Our Stars, what is the first name of the character who had their leg amputated because of cancer? Now, maybe you've seen the movie, maybe you've read the book, but this one right here separates or sends us into time. Buckle up, baby, here we go. We're gonna start with our teachers, Mr. Rosa. You said... Elijah. Now hold it right there. Sophia, you said... Augustus. Let me go to the card. One of these answers is correct. One of these answers is incorrect. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of today's classroom is... Augustus Students win the game! And $500 is going to the Hobie the best fundraiser of all time. Hey, you guys, great job. Jimmy and gang, make sure you guys support them. Where can we find information about the Hobie Drive? On the website, on the school website. Hook these people up. Let's get them to $20,000. Hope you guys had a good time with the classroom. We're going to see you next time with $500.